Hello everybody and welcome back to Birthdays The Beginning where we have just, if I uh, pop down here we'll go and say hello to them again we have our lovely wee doggy oh, went a bit too far there and the birth of mankind yay so what we need to do now is to get these guys to propagate and to do that, I think the temperature needs to be a little bit cooler because they seem to be really happy at this sort of 15 degree temperature. Now, if I pop into the library and we pop down to human beings, birds, a lot of stuff unlocked now, humans. Still some stuff locked actually. Hot savannah weather seems to have mutated megalania causing Velociraptor to revive. Even humans fear this creature. Oh wow. Again, there's there are quite a few. I mean, I am the most inaccurate person in the world, so I'm probably the worst person to say this, but things like the fact that the mammoth died when it was like negative temperature and, and things like that and wouldn't survive in minus conditions seems a bit weird to me honestly and uh, also the fact that Velociraptor apparently will come back I mean is that something that happened? but anyway let's get on with what we need to be doing so we need to make ancient humans and I'm fairly certain we needed a certain amount of Homo erectus before we could do that. So they need between 12 and 18 degrees as an ideal, but they will adapt up to 32. So I really need to make the, I would say the land, the, the flatlands need to be about 16 to 18 degrees. We need to just change that temperature up so that they can propagate a bit more. I think the doggos are probably fine at that temperature as well. So let's do this thing so we're at about 23 at the moment so we can either make some more mountains or we can use um, some global cooling let's see what we've how many of those we've got seven I think we could use a couple we could definitely use a couple so down to 21 20 one more I would say 18 degrees okay so let's see if homo erectus seem a bit happier with that because we do have some bits that are like a little bit if we just pop over here a little bit higher up so they might not quite be getting down to 18 degrees we'll have to see but uh, probably a lot of the lizard life will, will die off because it'll be a bit too cold for them they are cold-blooded and they need sun to keep them happy so I would expect a lot of them to die, but we'll see what happens. We're just going to set time going, but I won't fast forward it. I want to just see what happens. Stable. Temperature coming down. Temperature 22. The olive trees are propagating. A lot of the monkeys are happy. Butterflies seem happy with the decreasing temperature. Mosasaurus is on the verge of extinction. Yeah, probably too cold for a lot of the lizards, as I was saying. So we'll, have, we'll see some extinction. Right, I just want to see now, because it hasn't really told me how that's changed. I think something went extinct there. Oh, right, so the population has increased a little bit, so we're on the right track there. How many do we need? We need to aim for 40,000 of them and 175,000 oleas. Well, the oleas are going up in as well, so in number. So we're on the right track, I think. We just need to wait a little bit. So Homo erectus is up to 1,000 now. And we got a new thing. So let's go and check it out before it dies off. Is it you? It looks like I think it might be you. 
Are you new? Oh no, we know about you already apparently. Well, there's definitely something new around here. Oh, there's a little spotted lizard. I reckon that's new. I haven't seen an orange spotted lizard before. I'm assuming it is a lizard. Might be. Oh, it's a newt, sorry. That lives near rivers in warm climates. So that would have gone extinct pretty quickly. Something's making horrible tweeting sounds. I don't like them. Okay, so let's carry on for a bit. Oh, loads of new stuff. Wow. So the temperature coming down. And it doesn't surprise me because I did... Uh, a lot of my temperatures so far have been really, really warm. So that really, really, really doesn't surprise me. Look at my mammoth running around all over the place now. Oh, there's tons of them, look. They're loving this cold climate. But there's something new around here. Oh, look. Oh, we're definitely getting towards this more, like, sort of ice agey sort of animals. The sort of uh, the Smilodon. So that's the saber-toothed tiger. Saber-toothed cat with prominent canine teeth. It emerged after Delta Theridium went extinct and Mammuthus began to propagate, so it's like wanting the colder temperatures. There was a couple more things though that we wanted to find. Something right the way up here, I think. Mm, I'll go here a bit more. Is it that dragonfly maybe up there? Or is there some kind of plant around here? Something. Something flying around. Oh look, there's a white mouse down there. I've not seen a white mouse before. It'll probably be you then, won't it? The common house mouse. It emerged as Homo erectus was propagating, seemingly replacing Delta Theridium. It lives in cold plains and will eat anything. See, at the moment, I am kind of in a bit of a quandary because I do want, at the end of this, to sort of delete this world and start a new one in free play but then I've got so many animals and things captured here that I'm thinking if I do that will will I get them back I won't I probably won't I'll have to start all over again so I don't know what you guys oh I've got cows now the start of domesticated cattle a herbivorous mammal with magnificent horns it appeared after Delta Theridium vanished and Eosimius began growing in number and it's a boss apparently or a boss I'm not sure but I am loving how this world looks now oh look they made a little tent look they're starting to make tents they've got a little village going that's fantastic So as they propagate, a little village grows. Loving that. They might need some more land though, but I'm I'm glad that I can see that they're on the lowlands because it means that this is just the right temperature for them, which is exactly what I want. I want them to propagate as much as possible. Um, and it looks like the olive trees are propagating as well, I think. Minimum 3% river. Minimum 36% land. It doesn't even give me a stat for river. Okay, well, I have 82% land, so that's fine. 17 degrees, we're at 18 degrees, so it's not too far off. Minimum 3% river. I think the big river might be helping with that, but I may need to extend the big river. Might be something I need to do. I wanted to make a river around the back anyway, so I might I might do that and just try and green up the land and everything and make sure that we've got enough river for them to do that. But we're working on the uh, Homo erectus anyway, and we have 5,000 of them now, so that's getting there. And we have 175,000 olea needed, but we only have 89,000 so far. 
So they don't seem to be propagating as well as I would have hoped, and that's probably because there's not enough like river again. Because they seem to be completely by the... Let's go down. Let's go down into the river. I'll show you. It seems like they don't propagate near the sea at all. I'm not seeing any of them. It's all conifers and stuff. There's literally like river over here. And those olive trees are propagating like crazy over here by the river. So I really, really think that this at this point we need to make tons, 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 tons more river. Which means we need to raise the land a little bit. Which is going to mess with the temperature, but... Oh well. I'll just do it in the place I wanted to do it in the first place. If that makes any sense. Which was the background here. So I, what I wanted to do was, there was a little bit of uh, a waterfall over here, which I thought would make a kind of nice river. So if we make the cursor as big as we can, which is actually quite big at this point, that's huge actually. I'll make things a lot easier. I'm just going to raise the land along here by one. If only I could have this cursor size right at the start, that'd be so much easier. Okay, so that's already uh, messed up the temperature a little bit. So, now, we could probably still propagate on from this water source. Um, and without messing things up too much, honestly. So let's just make the cursor kind of tiny. Probably want about a 3x3. Three three. And then we'll just propagate a river out from it. And I think I might just go in like two different directions from here. I might have it like split off. And go around a corner. So if I do kind of that... I'm thinking on this side it might sort of wend its way around in a sort of this sort of way and it might sort of go over here. I need to raise the land a bit actually to do what I want to do. So I'll go around, around the corner a bit and then it'll go in a straight line down here and it'll go off the map. Okay, so we've got a couple of nice big rivers going now. And let's see if that helps our Olea population and it will also help, as I say, everything look a little bit greener. Everything's dying! Opuntia. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it at all. It's probably not. Let's go up here. Hello birdies. It's all the way up here I think in the snow biome. Mm. Or is it? Or is it hiding like slightly downwards? No, it's not down with the humans or anything. Definitely looks like it's on the snowy bit. Is it a snow cactus? Are you a snow cactus? Opuntia. A cactus that mutated so it can survive in extremely cold temperatures. Its flower bloom along with aquilegia during the brief summer. Cool. That looks like it's got its flowers right at the moment. So, we're back in macro mode now, and a couple of things have died out, which is a shame. Don't press global cooling, actually, let's, let's get that off, global cooling, I don't want to be doing any more of that. Put it on something harmless, like a recovery leaf, the worst I can do is waste it then. Okay, so, time start. Let's see what we get. 
Right, so the Olea is already starting to really like the new conditions. Hopefully, we've lost Fake Ops. The boss seemed to be ah, not too happy either. Well, we'll see what happens with them. Okay, let's have a quick look in here because this gives us the uh, population 7,500. So actually, they're not too happy at the moment. In groups, they can hunt down other carnivores. They need fire tools. Canis familiaris propagated. Well, they seem to be doing really well. So that seems fine. They're happy at 18 degrees, they seemed happy. Um, but they need food and stuff. Olives became more abundant. Right. Well, the olives are definitely becoming more abundant. But I need to keep an eye on that population. It could just be temporarily down because of the food sources. What's S. Magister then? Are you a plant? Are you a wiggly little lizard? There's some wiggly lizard down there. Aha, you are a wiggly lizard. S. Magister, Varanus olivaceus that adapted to a desert habitat where cool winds blow. Okay. Well, that wasn't too super interesting, unless you're like totally into lizards, but. Oh, cool, fine. Ah, oh, Homo erectus are on the way back up. Good, good, good. And now they are stable. I think they need more trees and stuff. Ah, boss are on the way up, boss are on the way down. It might be that we need a certain amount of boss as well. Oli are on the way up. Check on them again. Always keep checking on them. See, they're still at around the 7,000 and I need them to be at 40,000. So let's have a look at these boss because I think they might be a, a good food source for the humans and if it's good conditions for them, oh, they should be living. They should be okay. Okay, I'll go and check out the river and I'll just see, is that... Oh right, it's still starting to get the greenery around it, so it might just take a little while for that to really start making an effect. Holias going up, Megatherium, all that sort of thing going up. Check again. Oh, the library. Just gotta keep a real eye on these things, you know? Oh, where's man? 8,700, so they're starting to come back up again. Okay. It all looks very strange. Um, straight and flat along there, doesn't it? I need to try and do something about that. I don't know if I'll be able to, but we'll see. Okay, I'm gonna go check out the river now. Oh, look! Okay. We have a human man down here, I think. Hanging out around here. They are hilarious. The way they speak is hilarious. They remind me of a certain art style. I'm trying to recall what it is. See, they seem like slightly happier when the temperature was like a degree cooler, a degree warmer. They had more huts around here and stuff. 
So that might be something to think about. They've got a lot of olive trees going now, which is very good. But they don't seem to want to live around the river. They seem to want to live a little bit upwards, a little bit up here. Where it's about 17 degrees. So they do seem to like that 17 degree temperature. What temperature is it over here? Still 17. Still 17. I don't know if they like to be by the sea, if there's things in the sea that they can hunt. They like to have their dogs with them. Well, I'm just going to wait a bit. It's not a lot I can do other than that. I mean, let's have a look. At how many olive trees we have, for example. So, 3% river. I have no idea how much river I have compared to everything else. Maybe it'll tell me in the, uh, in the cube stats. So, we have places with 10 to 60% moisture. Or oh, it might be too moist in some places for them. I need to check that. 3% river, 175,000 olea, which we have now. We've got 8,700 homus erectus. So let's see if we can come out of here and see how much river we have. I'll see if the cube status tells us anything more about that. Oh, it does, look. So you can see um, how much rock, sand, earth, moss, grass and snow you've got. Oh, so that might have been handy when we were looking at the um, getting the lizards as well, is how much grass and things we have. We have a lot of moss. Oh. have an awful lot of rock, unfortunately, but we do have 2.6% river, so we need more before we can get our new people. So that's something that I can work on. Now I can get a stat on it. Probably if we finish that river. Let's pop over here. Whee! If we finish this river, we might actually get to our 3%. So I'm just going to do that. I know we don't have enough Homus erectus at the moment anyway, but it doesn't hurt to have everything else in place. I've had people in the comments say that they have tried for ages and ages and ages and ages to get ancient humans and it's taken them forever and it, they haven't really gotten anywhere with it so I want to be really careful like, to get the right stuff so cube status 3% river right so we now have enough river we didn't before but we do now see how big those rivers have to be that's quite crazy but that'll just give me more chance for the olive leaves and things to grow anyway so No, I don't want that sat on global warming. That's how everything goes wrong. Yeah, we'll have it sat on recovery leaf. Again, I can't do anything wrong with that. So, let's carry on and see how the olea seem to be doing well. Those S. Magister lizards are doing well. The boss is up. Oh, the boss is really going up. Canis lupus is struggling a bit. There's Canis familiaris that I need to be worried about though. Australopithecus are going extinct a bit. The back of fighting's back. Got some problems with extinction of the uh, the older butterflies and some of the some of the trees and things don't like it in this temperature I'm guessing. But the olive trees are doing super well. Canis lupus are up again. Let's just double check again in the library how everything's going with the humans. 11,000. Here we go. That's better. Got a bunch of these guys. Olive trees are propagating, which means that there's more and more food. So again, just carry on. As long as things are going in the right direction, I'm happy just to carry on. Okay, let's see how they're doing. Oh, apparently something happened there. Um, don't know what. 17,000. We're on the right track there now. Loxodonta. Is that an elephant? Please tell me that's an elephant. 
Please tell me that's an elephant. We've had mammoths and things for so long. It was only a certain amount of time before we got an elephant. So I'm thinking. Hello, elephant. Eating the oleander trees. So many cool things this episode. We've got elephants, we got um saber tooth tigers. Native to the savannah, the elephant differentiated from Mammuthus as Homo erectus propagated. Ah, so Homo erectus propagating was the trigger for that. However, it lost most of its hair in the process. Oh my poor little bald elephant. Okay, well. Again, we'll carry on and um, we'll see if we can get anywhere more closely. So what we need, I just need to keep making sure that I check on them, make sure that there's nothing. 25,000, they seem to be like in good conditions now. Oh, a boobalus, what's a boobalus? I bet I'm pronouncing that wrong. Whatever it is, it's over here. It's a, wow, it's a ram thing. It's like a, some sort of buffalo. Some sort of buffalo. As boss began to increase in number, some migrated to damp lands. Nice, so we've got all the cows and the elephants and things, so we're definitely getting more towards the sort of modern animals at this point. A lot of things on the verge of extinction, but uh, I don't care. It is, is, is a necessary step. Okay, let's keep going. And speed it up just a little. We'll go and see what that new thing is. Hopefully it's something cool. What are you? Where are you? So many shinies I haven't picked up yet. Little mouse around there. The uh, Australopithecus seem to be down on the land now. Right down here because they're like, Oh, we don't like it up in the mountains. It's too cold now. There was something over here that was brand new. And I can't quite see what it is. It's a bear. Ursus thibitanus. A brown bear that lives in very cold forests. It emerges Ursus spalacius, no, spalaeus and Homo erectus were increasing in number. Fantastic. We are getting there. We are getting there. Let's get out of here and back to macro mode. And carry on. Well, actually, I want to check on the human population. 30,000. And uh, conditions for ancient humans is 17 degrees moisture, 10 to 60%. 36% land we have, 3% river we have, 175,000 olea we have, 40,800 homo erectus and we need another 10,000. Which I think it's just a case, a matter of time now. I need to keep checking just in case they've hit some sort of cap, in case they don't have enough space or they don't have the right temperature or something's wrong. You know, I need to just keep an eye on it. a little fast forward and then we'll check again 33 and another little fast forward maybe a couple of hundred thousand years oh we've got hyenas very cool I love how much stuff there is in this cube now it's really really good 
I'm going to go in this direction because the hyena is apparently around here. Uh, or, or maybe whatever else this little yellow mouse is. I don't think that's a hyena. I think that's the other thing we were looking at. So it's Mus indutus. As Mus musculus rapidly pro propagated, sorry, some adapt to live in the cool desert. It's over by the river, apparently. Let's just get over there. Actually, if I use the... Uh, if, I, if you use the directional buttons instead of the stick, it really, really helps to keep it level. Ah, uh, here he is. Hyena. Hello. Like, I really like... I know people love the dinosaur stage, but I'm really liking this stage as well. Because this stage, it's got so many... It's got nice trees. It's got, like, lots and lots of different um, animals. You've got a little... Few, a couple of different tribes now. We've got two tribes of humans. No, three, four tribes. Wow, look at them all. Everywhere. Look at this. Whole big old village. And they've even got fire. They have invented fire, people. That is pretty cool. They have invented fire. Right, anyway. Back out to the macro mode and we will increase their population a little bit more i'm happy to see the boss population increasing as well give it a bit of a fast forward again and a lot of the new animals that have um birthed are getting a lot happier oh mega something tron anything that says mega in it is probably really awesome so we better go find it Hello, you strange-looking saber-toothed tiger. Pretty cool. Mega... Megan Terror... Terrion. Megan Terrion, we're gonna say. A Smilodon that claims cold lands as its territory. Or a weird bit of rock halfway up a mountain. There's snow up there, look. You could, you could have totally gone up there. But no, you chose to be here. Where it's, like, still 17 degrees in lowland. Oh, actually, it's, like... 10 degrees there. One degree. Oh, okay, it's like super cold here, actually. Okay, we're at 16 degrees now. Um, I, I really wanted more like 17. So I'm just going to like make a little bit more ocean or river or something. Just to bring that temperature up a bit. I might just extend the river along the back here. Or extend the ocean out. Yeah, you know what, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to extend the ocean out just a little bit towards this uh, this side here, because I want to. So let's uh, get into the right mode to build, shall we? And I'll just make a big old cursor like that. And we'll just bring the sea out a little bit further. There we are. Probably try and bring the sea all the way into the corner. But then we don't have much in the sea anymore. Like, seriously, we really don't. Right, I'm going to go and collect uh, a few shinies quickly. Uh, that was not what I meant to do at all. Doesn't seem to have affected too much, so we'll just do that. One trigger is go fast. One tri trigger is, like, lower the land, so... Doesn't help when I get the wrong one. Hopefully those are following me. There's a bunch over there. I'll just get the sort of vast majority of them. And there's a few kind of around up here. One over there. Okay, let's uh let's pop on back. So we're starting to get a bit more in the way of uh, green land around the rivers, which is pretty cool. I've expanded the sea a little bit, so that should help green it up around there as well. So let us go and uh, see if we can get enough humans to make ancient humans. The, uh, the dogs are not doing as well anymore. Let's just double check the humans. Make sure they are still on the rise. 
Oh, we have enough! 52,000! Okay, so there is something holding up the ancient humans now. What is it? Could just be time. 17 degrees, we have. Moisture, 10 to 60%, we have. Minimum, 36% land, earth, mass, uh, earth, moss and grass, which we have. 3% river, which we have. 40,800 Homo erectus, we have. 175,000 earlier, we have that as well. So, as far as I'm concerned, we have all the conditions we need. Ooh, new thing. I really hope that this uh, there's not something that I needed that I haven't factored in here. Because it could be a, a long, painful wait. Have we got a polar bear? Oh, we have. We've got a polar bear. So good. Hey, polar bear. He's eating fish, even though he's like right up the mountain. Ursus Thibbet. Thibetanus, maybe, gradually have adapted to live in extremely cold lands, becoming the polar bear. It's quite good at swimming in the sea. Well, you're not going to get much sea up there because uh, you can't really have cold sea conditions or everything goes extinct. Okay. Well, I'm quite pleased with him. Um, I'm just hoping that I've got enough river land. I do have the 3% but I've got enough olive trees. I really don't want to have to use a evolution seed. We have all the conditions we need. Panthera tigris. Did we get a panther? Did we just get a panther? I'm pretty sure we did. Oh, it's a tiger. It's not a panther. But yes, we have a, a what seems to be a tiger, I think. Just getting in the right... Oh no, that's a saber-toothed tiger. So he has become a normal tiger. A tiger that differentiated from Smilodon and lives in the forest. It emerged as Homo erectus and Canis lupus were multiplying. We're back at 16 degrees again, so I'm going to raise the temperature just a teeny bit. We have polar bears on land as well. Got loads of cool stuff. That they can hunt in that. Um. Just having a quick look around. Right, the first thing I think we could do here is make a bit more river. So to do that, I do need to raise the land a little bit, but making the actual river itself will help. So I'm thinking I might branch the river off or something, or do something cool like that. So I need to come out of this mode, and we're going to make a little bit more of a, a place for the river to branch. And that was enough to just give us one extra degree we needed. And we've got a nice little sort of river landscape there. I might need to raise some of this land a bit more again. It's going to help it get a bit more green as well. So we've got all these little cool rivers going everywhere and I'm quite happy with that. Generally quite happy with how the cube is evolving. I think the, the pyramids need to be changed into something a bit less pyramid looking, but other than that, I'm quite happy with it. Okay, so we're gonna just let the time go a little bit more. And see if I've got enough. So we're gonna check the cube status again see how much river we've got 3.4 now so we're definitely over the 3% threshold we need 
Um, we are getting back up to our 17 degrees air temperature. We have plenty of olives. Seven. Oh, it's the moisture that I'm a bit worried about. 10 to 60%. I want to just go and check some of the moisture levels around the cube because that's the only other thing that I think that's a problem because we've got plenty of Homo erectus, we've got plenty of olive trees, we've got plenty of river, we've got plenty of land. Earth, moss and grass. Oh. Not rock. Rock doesn't count. Nor does sand. Right, let's go and look at the cube status again. I need to do some big changes to this cube then. If that's the case. So, rock at the moment is 41% of my cube. And the earth plus the moss plus the grass, 26%. And I need just double check 36% so I need to get 10% more of it to be earth moss or grass earth moss or grass um, oh. yeah earth 10% moss 16% grass 10% so we need to just make loads more rivers everywhere loads and loads more rivers that's that's the problem that's what's uh, causing us issues so i think with that i'm going to end the episode for today um we got loads of cool stuff we haven't got ancient humans but we got loads of other cool stuff and we've got most of the way to um getting them but we need to just increase by about 10 percent the amount of grass moss and everything so i just mucked things up a bit by leaving the cube the way it was so what I'm going to do is build another couple of big rivers, um, maybe build tributaries out from the rivers we've got to try and get the land a little bit more, um, what is it, a little, just a little bit more green basically. So we're going to try and spread the green basically next time and see if that will get us the results we want. So that's it from me. I hope you liked the episode. If you did, please leave me a like. If you'd like to see any more birthdays, then do please subscribe and I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.